Homebrew Brewery. I'm going to start this homebrew Wednesday a little bit different than the other ones. First, happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. Enjoying a all grain brew. It's hazy, but um, tastes really nice. Straight out of the keg, out of the kegerator. What's upstairs? A little bit of lacing on the glass. Look at that. This is the Glen's Amber Ale again. So, what are we going to do this on Brew Wednesday? First, I have an empty keg again. Last homebrew Wednesday, I uh, told you I broke a promise that uh, I told a couple of homebrew Wednesdays back that I don't going to brew any batch of beer anymore this uh, year. But um, I already have one empty keg, so it's time to brew a beer again. And I'm probably going to make. I will show you. This nice extra kit, the festival. This is the Pride of Lawn and Porter. Very interesting beer kit. Got it from Homebrew Online. And I'm going to brew that, uh, that beer and I'm going to make a complete video about that. And, uh, and I will keg it and bottle probably something. So, what did I do this week? Homebrew related. I bottled the Duvel clone, bottled and transferred it uh, into the into the keg. So I have a couple of bottles. Um, I'm probably going to show you some bottles at the end of this video. Maybe I'm going to trade one of those bottles with uh, with you guys. I don't know if if it's good. And I received the package. Uh, I'm going to open it uh, in a couple of seconds and I want to talk about yeah that is a question that I uh, get a lot in my uh, in the emails and private messages uh, wait a second okay I'm back look at this beauty this is my stainless steel war chiller and I'm receiving a lot of questions about this war chiller where I bought it uh, was it an online store? What did it cost? Well, it's almost custom made for me. For me, I met a guy on a Dutch uh, beer forum, hobbybrown.nl, and he sells this uh, really nice stainless steel immersion chillers, but. I don't know for you guys in the States or in uh, Australia, I don't know, uh, where you can buy this. Probably you can um, yeah, make it custom by a, by a company that uh, do things with, uh, with metal stuff or a plumber or something, I don't know. But I have something uh, news. I'm going to try to buy um, multiple of these um, immersion chillers in different sizes and uh, capacities. We have also war chillers. In this kind, there is another another coil inside here, so that uh, um, what do you say that? Uh, it's more efficient uh, in in cooling. Well, it probably it's going to cost about 70 or 80 euros and it's still, in my opinion, uh, a lot cheaper than uh, copper. So, um, stay tuned, I'm probably going to sell this uh, war chillers. It's really nice and it works perfect. More than 20 liters worth in about 15, 15 minutes even when it's summer, to uh, 23 degrees or something. It works really, really well. Cheers.
Oh, fantastic beer. Love. Love to brew. Let's see what's inside this package. As you can see, I ordered my some uh, extra kits, some bottle caps, and then um, dextrose, and brew enhancer. Yeah, that's right. I bought myself a couple of um, beer kits, and the reason for that is that I don't have enough time always to to brew all grain beer. Man, I love this stuff. All grain is really awesome, but um, hey, I love beer, I drink beer, but I don't have time enough to supply myself enough beer with uh, with the all grain uh, style. So these extra kits are really easy to make, and um, hey, it produces good beer. And this is really new. I bought this uh, with a big discount. This is uh, Cooper's ginger beer. I know you are probably going to say, man, what are you doing? Ginger beer. Hey, I read a lot about this beer and you can make it without alcohol. But I'm going to try it one without. without uh, one without. Oh, <coughs> Like, like Craig Tube always says, <laughs> use some motion lotion. Yeah, this is going to work. I'm really busy. Alright, I'm going to try make one without alcohol, one with one and a half percent, and one with the original recipe and that would be three and a half percent EBV. I don't know if you can see this. Three and a half percent. This it's more like an experiment. I bought this tree for about I believe 28, 30 do, uh, euros or something. Hey, whatever. And I have some sugars for my uh, extract kits. As I told you, I'm going to make a brew video about the uh, um, festival, uh, festival premium ale kit. And that's like everything that I have for this Homebrew Wednesday. I have uh, the hot apple cider still fermenting and I'm going to transfer that in the secondary in about a couple of days. Um, that's what I'm going to do. It's really simple. I wish you guys happy Homebrew Wednesday. Thanks for watching and a special thanks to all my subscribers. I can't say it enough. Thank you very much. I started this year 2012 with about 996, 97 subscribers and now I'm at 700, 700 I don't know exactly uh, how much. Now I have more than uh, uh, 690 subscribers more this year. About 700 subscribers more. Thank you very much. Cheers to all of you. Bye.